Hello everybody, my name is Ochara, and this is City of Gangsters. It is a brand new management tycoon style game. It just came out on Steam. Um, it's set in Prohibition era uh, US, which would be, I believe is 1920. So basically you are setting up a, a, a criminal enterprise that primarily uh, deals in, in, in alcohol, illegal alcohol. Um, but it's definitely a different take on uh, a management tycoon type game, which I'll get into here as uh, as we go. So this is a very large map. I did play through the tutorial, not the whole thing. It's quite long. I played for about half an hour in the tutorial, so I have I have some idea what's going on, but we we'll, we will see. We'll be figuring this out together largely. But the year is 1920, dawn of the Gilded Age. Country is prosperous but divided. The National Prohibition Act is made illegal to sell, manufacture, or transport alcoholic beverages anywhere in the country. The law is seen as an attack on city residents and immigrants who don't support the temperance movement. Naturally, nobody in the city takes this law seriously. Illegal speakeasies and alcohol operations are popping up all over, and it's easy to persuade the, pers blah, persuade the police to look the other way. You arrive into this melting pot with a few dollars in your pocket and a family connection. You're staying with your uncle, Henry Fabry. He has a small business in the city, and he's going to show you the ropes. But you don't want to run the family store. You dream about making it big, and this situation is full of opportunities for someone like you, someone who's not afraid to take risks. As you get off the train and take in the sights of skyscrapers and endless crowds, you already know this is the beginning of something great. So this is where we are. This is what we uh, have influence in right now. So let's uh, spin the camera here so it's kind of 90 degrees there. So the way this this game seems to differ, so actually let's just first and foremost, uh, oh wow, so there's like, okay, this is a lot of businesses. This is more than a tutorial head. So this is a, a, a soda fountain store, I guess. <laughs> yeah, fizzy drinks, fruity malts. Can I buy or sell anything here so I can sell them cigarettes or hard cider, neither of which I have. Or do I? I don't think I have any. See you around. So they owe us a favor because we're we have twenty percent uh, opinion with them. We can turn in that favor ma later, maybe. But we're, before we do that, so we are here right now. Eddie Conkling. Okay, no. So where is our safe house? Here, this is our safe house. It's a Midway Fruit Shop. So. Uh, it's owned by our uncle, Henry Fabry. It's a fruit stand. So we make, it makes grape concentrate, eight small barrels every seven turns. So a turn is a week, seven days. It's also commercial storage. So we got wine, we got grape concentrate. We got, oh, we do have some hard cider. So we could sell some hard cider to that store. We also have empty space. We can set up an operation here like for example back room brick wine which is probably what we're going to go with since uh we have great concentrate but we don't have the money for this right now costs 700 dollars. we don't have that or lumber which we do have and it takes five turns aka five weeks so we're gonna have to make some money so the big way this game is different from most other uh tycoon type games is the turn system so we have three action points and 10 movement points per turn. So for example, let's, uh, cl let's click on ourself. We can go up here. This will take one movement point. If you're moving to somewhere you've never been before, it takes five movement points. So that's the big difference. So now we can go in here, more fruits, more fruits and vegetables. So this guy, Charlie Miller, he has a personality trait of friendly which decreases the cost of gaining control of a new building. So we can chat with him or we can examine this location. So we have 11 respect here. The Szymanski boys have five respect. This is the police officer in charge. So we may have to bribe this police officer right now. There's zero heat, which is, you know, the police activity in the area. Let's go in here. And they can sell us stoneware crocs. 
Actually, I made a mistake. Let's go back. I waste that's a waste of moving points. I realize that, but it is what it is. So let's load up some brick wine here. We can hold 39. So that's all we can hold. This is our car. And this is our storage. So let's go. Where was it here? No. They want to sell a stoneware crocs, which we're not interested in right now. Here we go. We can sell some hard cider. Right? That's what I have in the car, isn't it? No. Wait, what do I have in the car? <laughs> brick wine. I have brick wine. There is hard cider. I took the wrong thing. Let's take hard cider and then we'll take some brick wine. See if we can sell some brick wine. Here we go. <laughs> Now we'll sell some hard cider. So they want to buy up to 25 crocs. We have 15. They're buying it at 12 per croc. So that's 180 bucks. That's good. Sell that. Beautiful. So let's see what we can turn these two favors into with this person. We could use a bit of support with a common friend. We want to expand. We don't need a front. We already have a front in this area. So let's, uh, Betty Conkling, Martin Conkling. So let's uh, see. Yeah, Martin is my cousin. Should I put in a good word for you? I appreciate that gesture. Cool. So see you around. So now if we go check out that Betty Conkling, we need the other Conkling. Where is the other Conkling? Here he is. Yes, we have 46 opinion with them. See, we got 20 from the, the, the mutual friend putting in a good word for you. So now we can get favors from them as well. But right now we need to try to find, we need to sell some of this uh, hard cider and brick wine. So right now we don't know of anybody buying brick wine. So let's, uh, let's go on a little trip. Let's take a trip. Uh, let's go over here. So this is going to take, that took up one. Now anything, basically anything this color, it'll take five movement points to get there. So now to, to check out this place, it's an unknown building. It will take our one and only last action point. But let's do that. Or wait, is it here or there? It's up there, isn't it? Okay, now we can check it out. Scope it out. So if we go up here, it's owned by Anastasia Young. It's a car dealer. Gaudy bunny frames. Frames a slot full of overly chatty staff eagerly standing around vehicles waiting for someone to show interest. Shiny metal bodies. Clean rubber tires. Looks like new cars are on sale here. All right. So that's it. Yeah, you fix vehicles. I heard you got a car or two for sale. So eventually, we have one car, which is our capacity. And we have zero one truck capacity. So eventually, not today. What do you need? I'll come back later. Because we don't have enough action points to do that. Nor do we have enough money to buy a car. So we're out of action points. But we still have movement points. So can we get anywhere? No, because I, well, I would have liked to, to do a brand new one. Oh, we can go here. So that'll take five movement points. But now, we don't have any more actions, so we'll have to hit next turn here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we learned about a new resource, grapes. A fruit of the vine for juice and eating, and that's all. Some businesses may be interested in this resource, either the ones you already know about or ones that are yet to be discovered. Right-click to dismiss. So I have three actions, ten movement. Let's see what's going on here. So this is another soda fountain. They seem quite happy. We could perhaps help them by furnishing some bottled happiness. So we can sell booze here probably. Now we have very little relationship with this person. We have no favors. So we could sell them cigarettes if we had any cigarettes, which we don't. And it's also interesting. He hesitates for a second. You get a feeling he trades in black market goods. Doesn't trust you enough to say more. He might also have other things. Things you don't know about just yet. 
So we got to kind of to go around and figure out what everybody has, what everybody wants. Right now we have we have 24 brick wine that we want to get rid of. So let's go. Oh, that's Wow, that okay. Went all the way around there instead. Okay. That that's fine. It works. I mean, <laughs> we got there. All right. So what do we got here? So we met some local troublemakers. The Collins boys. It's a small operation you might be able to use to your advantage. Okay. We also scoped out a new business, Chicago Meat Company. Um, well, this business uses a lot of barrels of various sizes and is in particular about where Randy's empties end up. So I'll be able to buy barrels from these folks. I can buy small barrels. Okay. Which I don't need right now. Right now I'm just trying to sell my brick wine, basically. So let's go... I got two movement points, one action. So let's go back here. Check out this place. Butler Home Renovation. Okay. Let's talk about buying and selling. So we could buy small barrels. We could sell moonshine if we had some. But we don't. We have one action point. So let's go over here. This person knows someone who might be particularly useful to me. Marjorie Scott. Um, let's do a favor here. You know any buying what I've got for sale or selling anything I need? Let's try this. I hear you have some inventory that might be hard to get rid of these days. You should meet my cousin Raymond. Tell me more. Okay, he is way over there. So, I trust your judgment. Please put in a good word for me. Okay, so that's way over here. So, we'll have to we'll have to make our way over there eventually. But that's uh, not going to be this week. Because we're out of action points. We have one movement point left. But I want to pop in here when I have action points. Still need to get rid of this brick wine that I have on me. 24 brick wine. And... 56 brick wine and 15 homemade beer here. So yeah, I need to find somebody who wants to buy brick wine. And that's fine. We will, eventually. I'm confident. Alright, so let's pop in here. Evs and Popsil at Cafe. They know me from back in the day. Another place to buy Crocs. I mean, that's good to know. All right, so let's, uh, let's do a favor here. Do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale or selling anything I need? Or do we want to run a front here? Yeah, no. Can you get me in with some local troublemakers? I can use support with a common friend. Anastasia Young. Yeah, let's uh, suck up there. Let's use that favor. I'll go there as soon as we're done this meeting. What can I do for you? Perfect. See you around. All right, so we got five or ten movement points, two actions. So let's uh, let's go somewhere new. Go over here. Okay. Kind of making our way over to. Uh, oh my God, that's far away though. I can't count on that to get rid of this stuff. I need to find somewhere closer. All right, so we got three different businesses here, I think. All right, what do we got here? The green counter. Might be a good place for a dinner after a long day of scoping out. All right, what do you have to sell or want to buy? You know, I was keeping it open for a good deal. You get a feeling she also trades in things you don't know about yet. All right, fair enough. About this place. Service station. So they fix vehicles. Okay, goodbye for now. And we are out of action points. Let's, uh... Well, we have five movement points that I want to spend, so let's pop in over here. Yeah, we got a bakery. And what is this one hidden? Gilman's place. So we'll have to go back and check that out. But it'll only be one movement point to get over there now. 
So this bakery, let's see what they have. Oh, bakeries use yeast, water, and some grain to make bread. Those same ingredients can be used for other, more lucrative products. The German word for hops is prominently printed on empty sacks in the trash out back. Well, that's definitely going there. It'd be nice to get in good with Harry Collins. Talk about what you've got for sale. Not much right now. Okay. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, so let's pop back over here. Go to this business. Gilman's Place. Locals rave about the menu here. Ooh, we can perhaps help them by furnishing some bottled happiness. I hope so. Ah, they only want cigarettes. Everybody wants cigarettes. Nobody seems to want, uh, <laughs> want my wine. All right, so what is this hardware store? Oh, David Broompunk, my uncle. My other uncle. I guess I have two uncles. They got an Uncle Henry Fabry there. Must be from the other side of the family. So let's go here. Let's go here. Two new businesses. Okay. The purple counter. From Green Lakeside Grocery Shop. Let's try the purple counter. I'm hoping for somebody who wants to buy my wine. Purple counter. Good place for dinner. Not enough action points to check. Got three movement points. Can't really use any of those. So let's go next turn. I should probably get an operation in there. I need money though. I need to get rid of this wine. <laughs> brick wine. Nobody's selling. Nobody's buying brick wine right now. Unfortunate for me. All right, let's check this grocery shop. See what they want to buy and sell. They want to buy, or they want to sell me bottles. Okay. I mean, I might need bottles at some point. And they, nothing. Nothing. All right, so let's, uh, let's go down here. Nothing here. Let's, uh, let's go down here. All right, check out this business. Hugh spot. All right. Oh, word in the street says they want to talk to me. I hear you're a well-connected person. Perhaps I could ask you about something. I'm listening. I'm always listening. I've heard of a rumor you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. Is that true? Indeed. I have a spine of brick wine that's looking for an outlet. Let me know if that interests you. It might. Nice. Why don't you bring a few crocs over and we'll see if it's good stuff. Okay, I'll be back with them. I think I have them in the car, don't I? I brought the brick wine. Hmm, well, it's not quite wine, but it will get the job done. I think we can probably do some business together. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Talk about buying and selling. I want to sell you brick wine. They definitely have some in the car right now. If he can buy up to 26, I have 19, $285. Nice. Okay, so I made some money. So that's, this is relatively close to where I live. I'm out of movement and action, so obviously next turn. Oh, they want to talk to me again. Do you have a moment for a quick chat? I do. So maybe you've noticed that this neighborhood isn't that thirsty for brick wine. Ah, oh. <laughs> but I hope they were. That's correct. My family showed, showed me how to make it, but it seems that no one around here really wants to buy it. Indeed. Well, I've been around here for a while and I've known your family for more than a bit of time. I reckon I could help you learn something that's more to the local liking. Just give me some brick wine to um, help me think. I'll bring over your research aids shortly. Okay. I don't think I have them on me anymore. No, I'm at a brick wine. So let's go over here. Check out this place. Virginia's Cafeteria. Uh... Locals coming and going from this business leave with carefully guarded packages and always seem to look both ways for exiting. Interesting. Let's see what they've got for sale. Ah, cigarettes again. Everybody wants cigarettes. I got to get a hold of some cigarettes. <laughs> Clearly. Union Oil Company. Not much going on there. Okay. Laundry. Pastries. All right, so let's go back to our home. 
our home neighborhood here. Pop into the shop. Um, pop into storage. Load up. Let's load up all the homemade beer we have and as much brick wine as we can carry. And finish loading. So we could set up a new operation for brick wine. But it would take, no, $700. We don't have $700. Which means we can't do it yet. We're getting close though. All right, so we got seven movement points. So let's go back over here. And uh, I have the things you're waiting for. Deliver 10 Crocs. So what do you think will sell better around these parts? I think the locals would love a glass of cider or six. Homemade beer will do the trick. Nothing gets a job like moonshine. So I can gain other cider making, homebrew production, or moonshine skill. Let's go with homebrew. Nice. You're a generous person by nature, so of course you helped it when asked. You made a new friend, and of course, friends help friends when asked. Perfect. There's a smart way and a hard way. You've chosen the smart way, and your crew now has a new skill at its disposal. Nice. Sell some brick wine. He wants to buy nine crocs. I can do that. So now I have $750. Nice. Wow, you can sell a bunch of things there, but just don't know what they are yet. <laughs> so I have four movement points, so I can't go anywhere new. Have I been... I've been there, right? I think so. So let's go up here. Now next turn we'll be able to see what's in these spots. Yeah. One of your crew members gained enough experience to gain a new level. Click on the experience ticker. Pick a new ability for them. We got homebrew production. We learned about our new resource, barely. Nice. Let's see. Barely. Yeah, so we can buy barely here and we can buy barely there. Which will be good because we're going to turn that into beer. All right, so... These are the skills I can take. Smart opportunist. Improve to level 1. Increase the number of action points per turn. That would be good. Increase the number of movement points per turn. Or increase combat effectiveness. I'm going to go with action points. That seems good to me. Alright, so let's uh, see what this is. See what they have. So I can buy barley here and bottles here. That seems really good. Potentially good. Right? I think. Officer's car sales. Okay. Goodbye for now. Can't do much there. So what do we want to do now? We What do we have for stock now? We still got a bunch of brick wine. Just got to find somebody else that wants to buy it. Right? So right now we just have Hugh and he's... We've already used up all, all the stock. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to go see Hugh. Since we're friends. I'm going to get a favor out of him. Uh, I can get a sport with a common friend. Or I can do a front here. How much does it cost to set up a front? What exactly is involved? It's pretty simple. First, we need to get locals on our side and gain some respect as benevolent protectors. So keep your ear to the ground for any opportunities to throw some money around for a good cause. Got it so far? I sure do. What happens then? Once your respect is spread. Once people know about us and we control a new corner, our outfit will extend and offer a protection to local businesses. We will help protect our friends from misfortune. In exchange, they will come here to drop off some envelopes. I'll need you to collect them for me and not ask any questions, aka extortion. I know you're hesitant. So also throw in $82 of sweetness deal. Yeah, I don't really want to spend $82. It'd be an honor to work for you. New front opens. Okay. New corner now acknowledges that you and your crew are in charge around here. Everyone knows who you are now and that you mean business. Noise. 
So yeah, see, blue, blue. So eventually I can spread. Um, oh, so I'm out of actions. Okay, so I still have movement points. Let's pop over here. All right, so I just met Rhodes and the crew. They're one of the many small town, small time troublemakers that can be found all over the city. Unlike outfits, these hooligans only occupy one corner and while they can get very possessive of it, their ambitions are limited, so they don't want to expand. If you're on good terms, they might share access to some legal goods or help you in another way. However, if you want to get in a fight, just get in a new conversation, start insulting them and see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm good. Lloyd Rhodes. That's me. Okay. Oh, the... Oh, the police person is my aunt? That seems like that could be good for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit next turn and... Uh... Wait, so... Oh, this is not the district I'm in, so I'm just going to hit next turn. Cafe Libra. Cakes and pies here are top rate. We can probably talk them into selling some fruit as long as we share them. It will definitely not end up in the still. <laughs> okay, so we can get stoneware crocs there. I still need a way to... Uh, still need to sell some stuff. Mm -hmm. Where should I try? I can go over here, I guess. I have lots of action and movement points. Let's go here. They want to see me. They want to talk to me. I'm listening. As you may have figured out, this new era of prohibition has given our family a golden opportunity. I think our family can run this town someday. We just need a strong leader. Couldn't agree more. That's why I've come to town, to run things. Have you now? Well, then I think you should prove it by making sure that our family controls more territory. Show some metal there, and I'm sure the family can provide more help. Have five corners in your territory. Metal you want? Fine, then. Once those corners are back are under our control, I'll be back to see about that help. Now let's say we're buying and selling. So we can buy bricks, crowbar, and lumber. Which is good to know. Okay. So we got action points. Let's uh, go over here, see what's up. We got a beach bowl. Oh, it's a bowling alley. Oh, oh, they might want my, they might want my stuff. Oh, they want cigarettes. Everybody wants cigarettes. Where can I buy? Wait, they're selling cigarettes? No, they want to buy. Okay. Change my mind. I don't have any cigarettes. <laughs> but look how many people. Are looking to buy cigarettes. Ridiculous. I wish I was in the cigarette business. Everything would be so much easier if I was in the cigarette business. Um. Oh, I only got four movement. So I can't go up there. Oh, I got to go around anyway, apparently. Yeah, I guess there's no street there, so that makes sense. <laughs> Next turn. All right, I just met Chicago Police Department. Police officers will make surprise raids at corners with a lot of heat, and at other times they'll patrol their district and arrest miscreants. It might be beneficial to become good friends with your precinct officer, perhaps through a recommendation from a share connection, and then pay them off to ignore your outfit's activities. Oh, so is this the person? Yeah. Ooh, if I can suck up to this person. That's their daughter. Of course, he's 78 years old. How long is he going to be around for? <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Ooh, back door, however, seems more heavily used by bottle-toting patron, patrons. Nope, just cigarettes. <laughs> it's always just cigarettes. Service station, okay. I have actions, but no movement. That sucks. Oh, well, next turn. What happens? Okay, I over, did I overshoot? Yep, okay. Pastries, okay. So we can buy barley and stoneware crocs. What about here? Oh, 
well-connected person, but actually, perhaps I could ask you about something. I'm listening. I've heard a bit of a rumor that you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. Is that true? Indeed, I have a supply of brick wine. Nice. Let me know if that interests you. It might. Why don't you bring a few crocs over and we'll see if it's good stuff. Okay, I'll be back. I have them. Okay, we can definitely do business together. Nice. So we have a good relationship with Pavla now. Beautiful. And let's sell some. Oh, we can sell brick wine and hard cider. Do I still have hard cider in my car? Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any brick wine in my car. <laughs> or hard cider. That means I made a mistake. But that also means I know where to sell now. So let's go back. That's pretty far away. Oh, we got homemade beer. I already sold my cider. So we'll load that up. Put that in. Put that in. Okay, so right now we have we have two people that want to buy brick wine. We have two people that want to buy hard cider. We have nobody that wants to buy homemade beer. We have one person that wants to buy moonshine. So with that in mind, and the fact that I make grape concentrate here, I'm thinking brick wine. I don't have the money. That's right, too. But I almost do. I almost have the money. Once I sell this. Right? It's here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Brick wine. $15 per crock. They only want 13 but that's worth 195 Nice. Okay. We got a good relationship. I could use a bit of support with a common friend. Um, Purple Valley. You see, I have no idea who I should be sucking up to here. Maybe I should pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, wow. Some of these people are far away. That's right there. That one's right there. That one's right there. That one's right there. So let's suck up to Eugenie Martin. I'd appreciate that gesture. Nice. See you around. All right, so we got... Uh, let's head back this way. We got one movement point, so we can't quite get there. But I want to see if... They want some brick wine now. They did earlier, but we we tapped it out. So I want I want to see. All right, so let's talk to the police here. I just want to say we all appreciate how much law enforcement is doing for this neighborhood. Thank you. It's nice to hear from the citizens of a fair city. I would love an opportunity to show my personal appreciation for all your hard work. Suggest a bribe. And I would recommend you stop beating your gums for you. Say something you're going to regret. Rejected. All right, so... That's fine. So who... Oh, okay. Works at Orange Cone, Purple Counter. Where's the Purple Counter at? Right up there. Do I need to go suck up to those people? All right. Oh, the cops nearby have me. So I can't sell right there because they're scared of the cops, which makes sense. Right? That makes sense. So let's go up to the purple counter here. Um, so I, there's no way to just talk to people. That sucks. It's kind of unfortunate. But that's the, them's the breaks. All right, so new spot here. What do we got? Antoine's Variety Store. Ooh, they've recently done business with another outfit. But let's see what happens here. Sorry to say this, but I've got into an exclusive arrangement with the Soul, the Sukup outfit. I'm afraid it won't be healthy for a while. Wait, what? They got you tied up? 
I'm sorry, this is not a deal I can just walk away from. They won't let me. You need to talk to the suit cup outfit. Very well. I don't think I'm in a position to be <laughs> doing anything about that right now. And in fact, I should probably end this episode. So that was episode one of City of Gangsters. There will be more. It's definitely an interesting take on the uh, the genre. I, I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky here, but obviously this is a bit of a slow start because I haven't had much luck selling my goods, unfortunately. It says you can buy there, but I can't, right? Yeah, no, I can't. I have actions, but no movement. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more City of Gangsters. I imagine there'll be at least one more coming, if not uh, not more than that. So let's save it up. Beautiful. All right, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.